Hi there, this is just a quick video going over some of the editing features within the curriculum application. This is what it looks like when you're editing the draft of your curriculum app. When you start, it's going to be blank, but you're going to see the template that has been created and chosen for you by your school. Your template is going to look the same for all of your units and likely all of the maps within your school. This is what mine looks like because this is what my school has decided on, and you can see that there are different areas that you can edit. You can create different units within your curriculum maps. It starts with one, and by default, it's just going to say new unit up here. What we are going to do is edit the map to have the proper title and proper duration. So over here, I'm going to select the edit unit button up by the unit information. Here you can number your units. Since I only have one right now, I'm going to keep it at number one, and I'm going to set the title of the unit. One great feature of curriculum mapping is that you can set the suggested duration for the units. This is going to help teachers pace their units and plan their lessons accordingly. Basically, you are signaling to teachers how long it usually takes to cover this content and how many lessons should be planned for this unit. So this can be anywhere from one lesson to the entire semester if you only have one unit. I'll set it as something rather large just to show you that I can and again, you can select unit tags to help keep track of the material within the unit. I'm going to keep these blank for now and select save. And now you can see over here the title has been updated, as well as the suggested duration that I set. If I wanted to create another unit, I would go over to the left hand side where I can see my list of units, and I'll select the new unit button here. This brings up a similar window that we just looked at when we were editing the already existing unit but this is going to allow me to create a new one. What I can do is select number two, and I want to name it, and set another suggested duration. Again, I'm going to select create to add this unit, and you can now see that I have multiple units in this curriculum map. Now within this template, I can actually do some editing, and I can put in content that is going to be valuable to the teachers using this curriculum. First, I'll show you a curriculum map that is a little more robust and has some content in it just so you can see what it will look like. This here is a more completed map. It's not perfect, it's just a working draft. So what it looks like now is that I have some extra units over here and I actually have content within my template. I do just want to reiterate that a template is different from institution to institution and is something that your administrators have worked with Chalk to create what they believe is the most valuable to your school. I do just want to go over what a curriculum map may look like and some of the things that are valuable to include for when you create content within your map. Most fields can be edited just like a regular text editor, such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs or something similar. You can click on the plus button to add a text field, and you can actually add multiple text boxes within each section of the curriculum map. Once editing, up here you can see all the options for paragraph format, bolding and other text options, as well as the option to add images, videos, and links that you believe would be valuable content for the teachers using this map. You have a lot of editing options, and depending on the template created for your school, these text fields may come pre-populated with text or other formatting, such as in this example here. Another useful feature is that you can upload files, so if you have any files on your computer or on your Google Drive, you can add them directly to the curriculum map so that others using the map can download them or add them to their lesson plans. Since you can have multiple text boxes for every section, you'll notice that you can add standards or upload files for each specific text box. This can be useful for keeping your content organized. For example, if I have a field for assessment evidence, I can associate the files and standards with each individual assessment within this section. So even though these would all be assessment evidence within my template, they are separated and have their own assigned standards and own assigned files if need be. These are just some of the features within the text editor, but be sure to explore your available options when planning your curriculum.